Thank you guys all for being here. My finger must have hit the button. So here is the first um, here is the first pattern that I'm going to share with you. This is the Spring Has Sprung Pillow. And this is using Red Heart Super Saver Aaron Weight, a 3.75 millimeter hook. And a 5 millimeter hook. It measures 16 by 16. Thank you, Cammie, for letting me know. I'll have to cut that one, that first part out when I replay. Oops. And this is designed by Michelle Wilcox. Super cute. And you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down and you click the link right here. And it'll take you straight to the free pattern for the Spring Has Sprung Pillow. And then this is the Spring Garden Hexi Blanket by In the Yarn Garden. And this is using a Sheep Just Secret Garden yarn, DK weight, and a four millimeter hook. And this is just really pretty, bright and springy. I can always rely on you to help me, Cammie. <laughs> Thank you. But isn't that pretty? I love that. So you can make that as big as you want. And you can get that for free if you just click the link right here at the very bottom. And it takes you straight to the free pattern. And then we have this beautiful spring gingham hand towel. Now, this is designed by Megan Meyer. And it says that it's a 450 Ravelry download, but you can get it for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can click the link in the uh, description right there and it'll take you right to their blog. And isn't that pretty? And then there's also some washcloths that go along with it. And I love how the button matches the yarn completely. So cute. And this is designed by Megan Meyer and you can find this on Ravelry. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, click this link right here and it'll take you straight to her free pattern on uh, her blog at leftinknots.com. And then here we have the Spring Chick Pot Holder. I thought these were really cute. These would be great for Easter as well. Let's see. There we go. And this is by Sarah Satch. I did do a designer spotlight on Sarah Satch. And you can check her out um, on that, my playlist for free patterns. And um, this is using Red Heart Super Saver Air and Weight and a 5 millimeter hook. You only need 250 to 300 yards. Isn't that adorable? They're so cute. And they would work up really quick. These might even be great for a uh, craft show or something like that. And this is... Um, available on Sarah's website, Posh Pooch Designs. If you click the link, it'll take you straight to her free pattern for these cute little um, pot holders, or you can use them as dishcloths. And there's also a link to a video tutorial. Now this um, would make a great bathing suit cover up. This is a Sherbert caftan top, and this is by Maz Quack, and it goes from medium size all the way up to 3XL. And you can get this for free on the blog. Absolutely beautiful. I love that yarn. Let's see. And they're using Ice Yarns Magic Glitz. Now that's really pretty yarn. I have some of that upstairs and I use that in something that I've made as well. And you can get this pattern for free. If you click the link right at the very bottom, it'll take you straight to their blog. And you can get this for free. And it's called the Sherbert Captain Top by Maz Quack. Now, I thought this was beautiful. This is a boho top by Jane Green, Aaron Waite, and a 5 millimeter hook. And it's only in a size small to medium, but I bet you you could figure out how to make it fit any body type. I just couldn't resist the colors on this. Very boho. Super cute. I love the bell sleeves. Really, really pretty. And this is designed by Jane Green. And they're using Aaron Wade and a 5 millimeter hook. You can get this for free if you click the link at the very bottom for beautiful crochet stuff. And it'll take you straight to the free pattern. Gorgeous. If you're just coming in, welcome in. I am showing some beautiful free spring patterns. I have all different styles. I have uh, tops and I also have some home decor as well as some jewelry, so make sure you stick around. This is called Flower Top. Uh, this is using Aaron Waite and a 5 millimeter hook. I thought this was adorable. 
The size only is small medium for this one, but I just couldn't resist showing you how cute this is. Look at the design in this. Isn't that beautiful? And those straps are gorgeous too. So you can get this for free. If you scroll all the way down the bottom and click the link, it'll take you straight to the free pattern. So cute. <clears throat> And then I thought this was a beautiful spring top as well. This is called the Coloratura Lace Top by Rachel Beth. And this is using fingering weight and a 3.25 millimeter hook. Isn't that gorgeous? Here, let me zoom in so you can see. That's so pretty. I love the boat neckline. Really nice. And you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link. And it'll take you straight to her free pattern. And you can uh, download the pattern here. If you click this button, you can get the free PDF. Cami says, I took out a bag I was going to make for my cousin to use for his new baby. And I will now get three shawls from said yarn. Oh, wow. That's a lot of yarn. That's a lot of shawls. What number shawl are you on now, Cammie? I know you've been doing a lot. I hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. Now, this one I thought was really pretty. This is called Elegant Crochet Top by Carmen Rezek. And this is using sport weight and a four millimeter hook. It goes from extra small to 2XL. And it is free on her blog, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Isn't this beautiful? And here is the stitch up close. I thought that was really pretty. Off the shoulder tops are so cute. And if you wanted to make it longer, you could always make it longer. You're on shawl number nine. That's awesome, Cammie. Good for you. You're a crochet machine. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link, it'll take you straight to her free pattern, how to crochet an elegant oversized open shoulder top and here is your free pattern and then here is uh the orange blossom tank top by kim guzman kim guzman has a lot of great patterns i do have a playlist of uh some of her great free patterns and this is using dk weight in a five millimeter hook and it goes from a size small all the way up to a 3x and I like that it's solid around the bust line. Hi, Sandrine. How are you? Thank you for coming in. It's great to see you. How you feeling? Is your head feeling better? I'm sorry to hear that you fell. But I thought this was a really pretty top. And I bet you it wouldn't take that long to make. And I think it would be, you know, like a little advanced beginner friendly. And you can get this for free if you click the link at the very bottom. It'll take you straight to the free pattern right here on makeitcrochet.com. And this is designed by Kim Guzman. Now I thought this was a pretty uh, boho tank top. This is by Brianne Malden. This is using Karen Simply Soft Solids, Aaron weight and a four and a half millimeter hook. You can get this for free on her blog. Let's take a quick look. Now she has this over a tank top, which is pretty cool. It would be great over a bathing suit as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And it probably would work up pretty fast, actually. Cammie says, the first shawl is going to be two-toned yellow, which is going to be absolutely massive. This shawl is going to be my new music director organist at my church. Oh, that's nice of you, Cammie. Very sweet. They will love it. Sandrine says, as long as I keep taking my meds, I'm okay. And thanks for asking. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. And Dawn says, hello, Crojo Corner and Chad. Hi, Dawn. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Hi, Suzanne. How are you? Thank you for being here. It's great to see you. Hi, Paula. Thank you for coming in. Today, I've got some really uh, awesome uh, spring patterns that I'm sharing with you. Wearables, home decor, and jewelry. And Paula has been a member for six months. Thank you so much for that, Paula. That is so cool. I really do appreciate it. And this is for you, for your milestone. Thank you.
you again, Paula, for being a member for six months. I appreciate it. And if you weren't here earlier, um, I accidentally hit myself muted for the first two minutes of this. So, oopsie. But um, I was sick with some kind of crazy virus for the last couple of weeks. So that's why I haven't been here. But I did miss you guys. And I do appreciate you being here. So this is the Boho Tank Top by Brienne Walden. You can scroll down to the bottom and click the link. And it will take you straight to her free pattern. Just click this link right here and it will take you straight to her blog. Now here's another beautiful top. This one is called the Sweet Pea Top. And this is uh, a size small all the way up to a 5X. That is awesomely uh, size inclusive. And this is a DK weight and it's using Lion Brand True Boo. Isn't that pretty? I love the color of that yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? Paula says, six months went by fast. It sure did. This whole year is going by fast. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. She says, hi, Laura. I've missed you for so long. I'm finally back at work full time and I'm watching from work. All my cardiac rehab and physical therapy is finally finished since I can and since I can watch you again. That is awesome. I'm so happy for you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for being here. And Elizabeth has been a member for 14 months. I love you too, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, my friend. This is for you. It's so good to see you, Elizabeth, and I'm glad you're doing good. That was a long road you had to travel down. Cami says, the second shawl is going to pure white, and it's going to be massively bigger because I intend to use two full skeins of Karen one pound in white and another Karen one pound in white with some missing. Oh, wow. That's going to be pretty, though, I bet. And Suzanne says, wow, that's a cute top, isn't it, though? I love it. It looks really pretty. And Cammie's like, yay, Mama Riz. I know, it's so good to see her. It's just not the same without Elizabeth in the chat. So I thought this was a really pretty top. Really cute. Lots of nice pictures. And you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link. It'll take you right to her blog. And let's see if this will pull up on my stream yard. Yay, it did. And there's your free pattern. And that is called the Sweet Pea Top. Now, this one's pretty, too. This is called the, the Lassa Top by I Needed Crochet. And this is all the way, uh, let's see, extra small, all the way to the 5X, using fingering weight and a 4 millimeter hook. You need 800 to 1,600 yards, and you can get this for free on her blog. But let's first take a look. Isn't that pretty? I love how the V-neck goes in the back and the front very pretty here's a closer look oh that's a pretty yarn colorway Ooh, that's pretty too gorgeous that looks like a fun pattern to make and let's see here oh that's gorgeous and you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link. And it'll take you straight to the blog, I need it to crochet.com. And here's your free pattern. You did not have to do that, Elizabeth. You are so sweet. And she says, Laura, I really appreciate you. And love you. I'm tough. Got to keep on trucking. I love you too, Elizabeth. And I am so glad that you're doing well. I kept you in my prayers and God took care of you. I'm so glad. And I really appreciate that. You do not have to do that, but I really do appreciate it. And for that, I think I'm going to give you, should I give you the unicorn? Or should we do the super chat panda, the OG? I know you like unicorns. Let's do the unicorn.
Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I truly appreciate that. Uh, let's see. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, you guys, I would really appreciate that. Elizabeth says, I like the stripes going in that direction. Me too, because it makes you look thinner when they go up and down. Nobody wants horizontal stripes. That's a no-no, at least in my book, you know. Okay, let's see here. Let me get back to Ravelry. Now, this one is the, called the Perfect Crochet T-shirt, and this is by Caitlin Barthold, and it goes from extra small all the way to a 5X, which is awesome. And here's a closer look. I love these. You can make a whole set of all different colors, you know. Here's how it looks on. Very pretty. This would be a great beginner uh, project. If you're just getting into making uh, wearables, a great beginner wearable project. And this is using Lion Brand Kobu DK Weight, a 3.75 millimeter hook. And you can get it for free if you scroll all the way to the bottom and click this link. It'll take you straight to her free pattern on OriginallyLovely.com. And it's the perfect t-shirt crochet pattern. And all of these are linked right here on Ravelry. And it's by Caitlin Barthold. Now check out this uh, boho purse, Elizabeth. I know you like boho. This is the Spring Mandala Crossbody by Brandy Amanda. Brandy with an I. And it's for free on her blog using Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. Erin Waite. Um, you'll need 300 to 330 yards, a 3.75 and a 4.25 millimeter hook. Isn't that so cute? I think that'd be pretty easy to make, actually. And I love the fringe coming down. It makes it look so boho with like a doily, a granny square looking thing on like a basic little bag. And it looks so pretty. And you can get it for free by clicking the link down here, blessedandamess.com. And that will take you straight to the free pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Now look at this one. This is called Spring Violet Shawl. I don't know if Sandrine's still here, but this is purple um, using uh, DK Weight Cascade Yarns Ultra Pima Cotton. 4.25 millimeter hook. You need 1,100 yards. Isn't this pretty? Here's the stitch up close. Absolutely gorgeous. I love wraps like that. I like the uh, rectangular wrap better than I like the shawls. Like the pointy shawls. Like just personally to wear. I think it's easier to wear a wrap because it's kind of like wearing a blanket. <laughs> like wrapping a blanket around you. That looks cute how she's wearing that with her black shirt underneath like that. Super cute. Elizabeth says, yes, I'm in love with that crossbody. Obsessed. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. It's totally you. So this is called the Spring Violet Shawl. And you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link. It'll take you straight to the free patterns. You click here and it'll take you right to the pattern. It's a PDF that you can print out. Let's see here. <laughs> now, here are some beautiful earrings. Now, these look so fun to make. And I know that these would be really good probably for a craft show. This is by Fuzzy Fungi. <laughs> and it's called Spring Jewelry Collection. Look at these cute little earrings that you can make. I love these. You can make them in all kinds of different colors. I love these. Aren't those adorable? Hi, China. How are you? She says, hi, Laura and Chad. How is everyone? I hope you're doing good today, China. Cammy says, hey, China. And Elizabeth says, love the rectangle style shawl, too. I've been making chemo prayer shawls like that. Oh, that's awesome of you. Very sweet. And Elizabeth saying, hi, Crochet Queen. I hope everyone's doing good. Does anyone have any fun plans for the weekend? Look at these little leaves, and they put beads on some of them. How pretty. And these have beads. These are just gorgeous. And it's called the Spring Jewelry Collection by Fuzzy Fungi. And you can get this for free if you click the link right here, and it'll take you straight to their free pattern on their blog. 
and uh, let's see elizabeth says cammy so great to see you twice today and paula says hi china Thank you guys all for being here. I do appreciate it. Now, this is uh, the Spring Flower Crochet Earrings. This is a free Ravelry download, so that makes it really easy. These are using thread and a 2.25 millimeter hook. Aren't these cute? I think I even have these beads that look like leaves. They, I think they have those at Joann's or maybe Hobby Lobby. And you can get that for free if you just click here. And you can download the free pattern right off of Ravelry. And this is called the Spring Raglan Cardigan. This is by Courtney Stowe. This goes from an extra small uh, medium all the way to a 2X, 3X. And it's using worsted weight and a 6 millimeter hook. Isn't that cute? That would be beginner friendly for uh, wearables. Beginner. I do believe. Everyone is saying hello. Cammie says, exactly, Mama Riz. I'd be so happy to be blessed with your beautiful presence twice in one day. Aw, you guys are so awesome. China says, I have nothing planned. Just going to stay and do some crocheting and a little bit of diamond painting. Ooh, that sounds like a perfect weekend to me. I was going to diamond paint last weekend when it was raining, and then I never got to it. Shame on me. I have so many that I started, and I need to finish. Look how pretty this is. I really love this. The Spring Raglan Cardigan. And you can get this for free. If you click the link right here, it'll take you to lionbrand.com. And you can download the free pattern. Boop. If you click right here and you get your PDF downloaded right to your computer. Now, I love this one. This one is called a, it's called Bring Back Spring Pocket Scarf by Tanya Bush. She has some really great patterns, by the way. I think I did a designer spotlight on her too. This is using Knit Picks Comfy Color Miss Worsted Weight 5 millimeter hook. You need 1130 to 1140 yards. Isn't that cute? I love those colors. Very spring. Love that. Very pretty. And you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link. It'll take you straight to nanascraftyhome.com. It's an easy crochet scarf with pockets, free crochet pattern. That's really cute. Elizabeth says, I need to start wearables. I know. I need to start something. I'm still working on my um, mosaic afghan. I haven't really been crocheting a lot lately. I have a lot going on outside of YouTube right now. So I haven't really had much time to crochet, but hopefully I'll get to it. And Elizabeth says, Laura, I love how positive you and your followers are. So uplifting and fun to hang out with. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. I enjoy hanging out with you guys, too. I really do. Hi, Jeanette. How are you? She says, hi, Laura, and everyone in the chat. It's good to see you. How you been, my friend? And Elizabeth is saying hello to Jeanette. Hi, Nisi. How are you? It's good to see you. She says, hello, Laura. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. And she's saying hello to Mama Riz. Cammie says, I don't have plans for tomorrow, but on Sunday I have church, and then I get to go see Emma, queen of the people in the land of silly butts. Aw, I bet you guys will have a good time. Everyone's saying hello. Thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. It's so good to see you guys. I missed you for those two weeks I was off. I was laying in bed sick. That was horrible, but I'm glad it's over. All right, let's see. Where are we now? So this is the, uh, what's it called? Boop, boop, boop. This is the Bring Back Spring Pocket Scarf by Tanya Bush. And I thought this was really pretty. This is called Dreaming of Spring Dishcloth. This is by Grandma Duck Designs. And you need Aaron Waite cotton and a five and a half millimeter hook, about 50 to 60 yards. Isn't that a really pretty dishcloth? I love the round dishcloth. You could actually use it as a doily. Or a coaster. Really pretty. That'd be a great beginner project as well. And you can get that for free if you click the link at the very bottom. And it'll take you straight to her free pattern for grandmaduckdesigns.blogspot.com. And this is called Succulent Spring Hexagon Afghan by Jennifer Renaud. I did do a designer spotlight on her as well. This is using Aaron Waite, a 5.5 and a 5 millimeter hook. 
You need 2,400 to 2,550 yards. Look how pretty this is. And I love the color choice that, that she used. That would look really good in my living room. My curtains are kind of that color, the teal. And let's see here. Everyone is saying hello. Thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. Elizabeth says, I have four family babies arriving in 2024, so need to make baby blankets. One baby is my son's second child. I don't know boy or girl yet, but I'm beyond excited. That is so exciting. I am so excited for you. Oh, my gosh. I did um, a uh, baby blanket uh, free pattern playlist, or not playlist, list of free baby blankets a couple of weeks ago. You might want to check it out because there's some really pretty ones in there. Um, congratulations to you, Elizabeth. How fun. I love babies. I love the smell of a baby's head. Crochet Queen says, I'm glad you're feeling much better, Laura. Thank you so much, China. Me too. It was a rough one. And Elizabeth says, hi, Nisi, my sweet friend. Love you. How exciting, Elizabeth. Yay, says Nisi. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Everyone's saying hello. Cammy says, I am saying my cousin's daughter's name for the first time here. Her name is Emma Lynn. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Oh, wow. Thanks, Laura. I'll check it out. Yeah, you'll like it. Um, there's a really pretty girl one on there. You'll see it. It's like a dark pink and white. It's so pretty and striped. Oh, it's so pretty. There's some really gorgeous ones on there. But here's some more um, pictures of this beautiful hexagon afghan. Isn't that gorgeous? It seems like kind of sophisticated to me. And this is designed by Jennifer Renaud. You can get this for free if you scroll down to the bottom. And you click the link at the very bottom. It'll take you straight to the free pattern right here on a crochetsimplicity.com. Succulent spring hexagon afghan. And then we have this cute little spring purse. This is called Step in a Spring Bag by Sweet Bee Crochet. And this is for free on their blog. This is using Knit Picks Dishy Worsted, a four millimeter hook and around 200 yards. And they make cute little flowers and a nice wooden button right there. Really cute. Elizabeth says, Cammie, I love that name too. It is very cute. Very cute. That seems to be a popular name like Emma. Very popular nowadays. It seems like the old-fashioned names are really coming back. So here we go. This is on Sweet Bee Crochet. And then here's your free pattern. Super cute. Elizabeth loves bags and purses. I do too. I want to make one that's like granny squares, but that has mushrooms on it. I've seen them. I've seen the pattern before. Let's see here. And then we have these cute little baskets. I love these. These are called Spring Morning Mini Bag. And these are for free on their blog. This is using Lily Sugar and Cream uh, Worsted Weight Single Crochets. You need about 100 yards. These are so cute. These would have been nice for Easter. Aren't they cute? But they would be great for a craft show probably. And they would probably work up really fast. These would be also cute for a baby shower or a bridal shower right? Let's see here. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Moonrose Craft says hi and bye. I'll see you next time. Gone. Oh, hello, Moonrose. I hope you're doing okay. And Elizabeth says, I'm so thankful my boss is in a meeting so I can pay attention to you to the live. <laughs> That's funny. If he only knew. And Let's see. Cammie says, Emma is the first most popular female name. Oh, is it really? I knew it was pretty popular. I hear a bunch of voices outside my window. I don't know what's going on. They still haven't buried my fiber optic cable from like eight months ago. Maybe they're here. My husband's talking to him. He's getting ready to go to work here shortly. But this is called Spring Morning Mini Bag by Misty Bush. And you can get this for free on AmericanCrochet.com if you click the link at the very bottom. It should take you straight to the free pattern. Come on, it's taking a while here. Doo, doo, doo. And then 
if you would like to see these. These are really cute. These would be great for a craft show too. This is Spring Flower Clips by Carmen Heffernan. I also did a designer spotlight featuring Carmen Heffernan. She has amazing patterns. Um, this is using fingering weight cotton and a three millimeter hook. And how cute would these be to make a little set and put them in like a little uh, clear bag and sell these? Elizabeth says, Cammie, my granddaughter's name is Emma too. Great name. That is such a pretty name. I love it. So I think these would really work up quick. And they put little pearls in the center. How cute. Very pretty. And you can get this for free if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the link. It'll take you straight to the free pattern at Annie's uh Annie's design crochet.com. Just click the link here and it'll take you straight to the free pattern. So here are all of the patterns that I shared with you today. There are 25 of them. So if you would like to take a look at one of the other ones that you would that you're interested in making, let me know and I'll go ahead and click on it for you. Which one is your favorite? I really love this one. I think this one's really pretty. I love the way it looks like really uh, hippie like. And then I also love this gingham towel. I think that's really pretty. A set like that would be great for a craft show, I believe. And Cami says, Emma was the second most popular female name in 2022 when my Emma Queen of the Silly Butts was born. <laughs> oh my gosh, the second most. Now is the first most. And Cami says, Emma is a great name. I agree with you, Mama Riz. Yes. I love the pillow, says Cami. I do too. Oh, I hear a bunch of people yelling outside. I don't know. They're doing something in my yard. Hopefully it's not too loud. And Suzanne says, can I see number six, please? You sure can. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's not too loud out there. Uh, let's see. The flower top. This is by Jane Green, Aaron Waite, a five millimeter hook. It's available in size small to medium, but if you're familiar with crochet and you needed a bigger size, you could probably adjust it, figure out how to adjust it. Isn't that gorgeous? Here it is up close. Here's the back. I love that. And you can get this for free on her blog. If you just click the link right here for beautifulcrochetstuff.com. And it'll take you straight to her free pattern. And it's by Jane Green, Flower Top. And Cammie likes the pillow. This is the Spring Has Sprung Pillow. Here it is up close. Isn't that so cute? And let's see here. Elizabeth says, I found a super nice lady in Ireland named Ruth on Etsy that designs filet crochet blankets with the baby's name on it in filet. Avondale Patterns is her name, but not inexpensive to buy. Custom names. That's a really cool idea. Oh, that is an heirloom too. How awesome. And let's see, Suzanne, the Swedish Yarny Hooker says, I would love to make that top for my daughter. I know, I love that top. I wouldn't wear it, you know, that those days are over, but it sure would look cute on somebody young. And Elizabeth says, Laura, you need to make that flower top for your daughter. It's so cute. Yes, she would look adorable in it. And uh, Suzanne says, wow, that pillow looks so cool. I know, I love it. Cammy says, I got an idea from the flower on the bobby pin for the shawl I'm working on. Ooh, that's cool. Some inspiration for you. Yay. Can't go wrong with inspiration, right? So here are all of the patterns. Again, let me just scroll through. If anybody wants to take a look at anything one more time, let me know. I really like this uh, crossbody bag here. The Spring Mandala Crossbody by uh, Brandy Amanda. Love that. And let's see what else. And I really think these are cute too. The little jewelry, the little earrings. So cute. Love that. And let's see here. Cammie says, hey, I live on a street named Avondale. <laughs> That's a coincidence, huh? 
And Elizabeth says, filet crochet is so easy and fun to crochet. I did a um, filet crochet shawl by Fiber Spider, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, and it really wasn't hard. Like, once you figure out, like, how they do it, it's like, oh, this is pretty easy. It's just making spaces and double crochets. So thank you all for being here. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head out here, and I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for having patience with me for being gone for two weeks, but I am back and I will be back next Friday at one o'clock central standard time. Thank you all for your memberships. And thank you again, Elizabeth, for that awesome super chat. I do appreciate it. And I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody. Thank you.